All right, everybody, we have the new EZA area here for, well, I guess it's the old EZA area with new stages for um, Hercule, that's stage 12, and Bobbity, LR Bobbity slash Majin Vegeta, stage 13. Um, so, uh, what do you know? What do, what do we need to do here? So, uh, let's go ahead. If we click on the I, we can scroll down and read the event details. And if we scroll down here to the bottom, it shows, um, you know, you're unable to take on this event if you don't have the required characters. So, we're going to take a look at the required characters for the team. And then, um, it looks like there is no unlocking condition for this event. I know a lot of times, easy A areas, like, uh, new players struggle to find them because they haven't completed, like, the story event or something. Like, sometimes these will have, uh, special unlocking conditions, I guess, since this one is so big now. Um, they realize that it'd be, like, a super tedious task to make players go through and clear, like, you know, 15 different story events to unlock all of these characters. So it seems like for this one, um, you can just take it on, but if you guys are having trouble finding the event or it's not popping up for you, um, let me know because I I'm curious here. I obviously, it's open for me because I've done all of the other previous EZA areas and characters. So, um, it, you know, it, it pops up for me right here. Look, it looks like it's about the fourth one down in the challenge event section. So, I'm going to be hopping into stage 13 here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the required characters. I'm sure it's just Bobbity, but let's double check. Yeah, so we are required to bring LR Bobbity into this stage. Uh, we can go ahead and click on this and it'll show us all of the available characters that we can bring into the event. Um, right here, this is the roster. It's the exact same for the Hercule. So, um, there are, we went over it in the Hercule guide, but I'll go over it again here. There are a number of free-to-play player, or free-to-play characters that you can bring into this stage. Um, notably, this guy is a Majin Buu Saga leader. This is actually the one that it gives you for the Hercule stage. Um, so this guy's free to play if you need a leader for the event. This guy is a great option. Uh, this unit is free to play from the, uh, Battlefield Shop. And they have the highest leader skill for Majin Buu Saga, at least for the ones that we can bring into this event. So I'm going to run them as my leader. Um, Yamu and Spopovich are also free to play. Probably don't want to run them as a leader. Um, who else? This guy's free to play. They re they lead Realm of Gods. They're a pretty decent option. Uh, this unit is also free to play. They lead Special Pose. This unit's free to play. He doesn't really have a good leader skill. Uh, this unit is free to play. They also lead Majin Buu Saga 77% of stats. This unit's free to play. He leads Defender of Justice. Uh, this unit's free to play. He leads Hybrids. Uh, this unit is also free to play. Leads Final Trump Card. Um, who else? You know, obviously LR Bobbity's free to play. We have to bring him on the team. Let's go ahead and grab him. Uh, this Deborah is free to play from the Baba Shop. Um, we can go ahead and bring him. They are pretty good linking partners. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this Gohan is also free to play from the Baba Shop. Um, who else? Technically, this guy is free to play, but you have to log in for a thousand days to get him. And then two thousand days to EZA him, so I'm sure not many people have him. Uh, this unit is free to play right here. Uh, this unit's technically free to play, but I wouldn't bring her for anything. Uh, this unit's free to play and on the friend point summon banner, which is like double rates or whatever right now, so obtaining them should be pretty easy. I did a friend point summon stream. That VOD is up on the channel. If you guys want to check it out, you can see I pulled quite a number of them in there. Um, this, no, he's not free to play. This guy right here is free to play, and he has his own unique skill orbs from quest mode, so you could bring him if you wanted. Uh, this guy's free to play. This guy's free to play. And then Hercules free to play as well, obviously. And then this guy is also free to play from the Baba Shop. So let's go ahead and load up here. I'm probably just going to bring some extreme characters into this one because, uh, I don't know. I, I took super class characters into the other one. So let, let's bring some extreme class characters here. Who else do I want? Um, let's see. Uh, let's, let's just bring this guy. That's fine. He's physical. All right, so here we go. They give you this guy. You have to use him as your leader, um, so that, that's good. You know, at least on this EZA area, um, every character that you can bring in here is a, um, you know, is actually on the leader skill. Uh, so they have recently revamped EZA areas now, so that uh, you know you don't have to choose paths anymore. They're all in a straight line, so you can use an auto clicker on these after you clear it for the first time. Um, as far as how many medals you need and how many times you uh, need to complete the stage, it'll depend on if you get question marks or not. Um, but let me go ahead and pull up Bobby's screen here. This is on the Dokkan info site. I went up to cards. Cards, obviously. And then right up here at the top is LR Bobbity. We can click on him. 
and then if we scroll down, it'll show us how many medals we need to EZA him. And you can see here, it takes um, 10 to do the first step, 15 to do the second step, and 20 to do the third step, as well as how much Zinni you need. Again, if you are struggling with Zinni and you're a new player, there are several ways to earn Zinni. The fastest way right now is probably going to be the Friend Point Summons. There is also the Hercule, um, like what is it called? It's called like the Hercule Big Bucks Challenge or whatever. That's a great way to get some Zinni. Um, you know, farming EZAs is a great way, but I don't know if it's super good for new players, just depending on the size of your box, right? But um, farming EZAs is another way, because every stage past level 30, it gives you some Zinni, so... Um, you know, like, this this may seem like a lot if you're, like, brand new, but, uh, you know... Uh, at some point, Zinni is no longer an issue, so yeah. I mean, that's the event right here. You can see it is pretty easy. These, guys, these things are not meant to be hard, and the nice thing here is that we can bring kind of, like, actual characters here. So we can just let it auto and talk about... Um, a little bit, talk about this guy's easy A, I guess. So he leads in human deeds, category key 3, HP attack defense 1, 20%. I have done a breakdown of him um, whenever I did the, you know, you need 150 medals to awaken him into an LR. I did a breakdown here of him, but, you know, just talking about him a little bit, he is okay. Let's go ahead and switch it over to his, e oh, he is on the EZA? Okay. So, uh, I mean, this is nice, right? Like, he gives all extreme class allies 30% attack and defense. I mean, that's good. Um, I wish he gave key here, but, you know, this is okay. Um, he gets a high chance of dodging. We just saw that right there. Uh, if there's a super class enemy. Uh, chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% for each extreme class ally. Um, and then 40% attack and defense when performing a super attack. And key plus 2 if there's an extreme class enemy. So, you know, I mean, that, that's pretty good, right? Like, this guy's not the worst ever. He's okay. Um, you know, his, his links are pretty bad. I mean, that's probably the biggest issue with this guy. Is that, like, these links are just horrible. <laughs> um, these are his best linking partners. We can go ahead and look down here. This unit needs an easy A. This unit needs an easy A. This unit sucks. Uh, uh, you know, these aren't good units. Uh, this guy will be interesting with an easy A. Uh, but he also needs an easy A. He stacks defense. That's why, that's why he's interesting. DKP is good, but he's pretty much only good on Kid Goku's team. So you're probably not going to be running these guys together. Uh, this unit's pretty bad. This unit sucks. This is the same unit. Uh, <laughs> and then you just get kind of into three links. And this is going to be like Shattering the Limit, Thirst for Conquest, Legendary Power. That's basically like all they're sharing Like once you kind of get down here. So um, definitely like this guy doesn't have great linking partners. But you know, like if, if this was key, like if you gave like three key with this, I would actually like this character a lot more. I would think they were fine. Uh, I mean, that's literally my issue, right? That and then, like, the Majin Vegeta standby. Like, uh, the Majin Vegeta standby is kind of built to be a tank. The issue is that his tanking is restricted to key. And key is a major struggle for this guy. Um, if he was rainbow orb changing, I would actually like him a lot more and have, like, zero issues. Um, but, you know, the issue here is he's not creating rainbow orbs. Like, literally, you make this guy a rainbow orb changer, and I, I think... I just like this card. Okay, so two things. You make this guy a rainbow orb changer, and you make this guy give key with his support, and I think I'm good with this character. Like, honestly, uh, I'd be pretty happy with them as a free-to-play character. Um, this guy doesn't tank super well. Even if you get, like, his full tanking activated, it's not super great, but, I mean, it's okay. Um, so, and then, like, this doesn't do, like, any damage at all, like, neither of these, so... Uh, I mean, that's, that's, like, my issue, but even if these did, like, if you made this guy, like, a true tank, and even if they just made him rainbow orb change, you know, I, I could accept that he's not, like, a crazy insane tank if he rainbow orb changed, you know, then I'd be like, well, you know, he still takes some damage, but, you know, at least he's providing rainbow orbs on, like, a terrifying conqueror's team, which, you know, a lot of characters on there could, um, benefit from that, so, I mean, I mean, just all teams benefit from rainbow orb changers, right, so... Uh, that, that's kind of my major complaints with this guy, but, I mean, overall, not too, you know, I mean, there, like, you can get some use out of this Bobbity, right? Like, a dodging support character, you, you can get some use out of this guy, so, um, be sure to do him anyway, because you need to get this guy easy aid in order to get your free tickets to do the 77 unit multi. You can go ahead and pull that up real quick and talk about it. Um, let's see, I want tickets, and where is it? It was at the start of the celebration, so I might have to go back a page... Where are you? Hey, uh, that's not it. Where is it? Hello? Where is it? <laughs> uh, let me just go to all. Let's see. 
Need to go back one more. Here it is. Um, ticket summon right here. All right, so yeah, you're guaranteed um, a few LRs on here. You get three guaranteed LRs, right? Um, you could get some good units like Golden Frieza. You could get this Merge Zamasu, who's pretty good. You know, we might be moving into a um, Future Saga Worldwide Celebration soon, so picking up this guy could be pretty good. This unit's still pretty okay. This STR uh, Piccolo is still a pretty good banner unit, so... You know, there are some decent units on here, and at the very least, um, you're getting some characters that can help fill out your box, you know. Just looking at this from, like, a Battlefield standpoint, like, you could use this guy in Battlefield, you know, because I, I think about it for new players, right? Like, these 77 units, you know, you're guaranteed three SSRs at least, but, you know, the chances that you get just, like, an SSR in general is 10%, 10 so, you know, roughly about seven to eight characters in here, theoretically, could be SSRs, and you could even get more or less than that, like... You know, worst case scenario, you get, um, like, just the three guaranteed. Best case scenario, I mean, listen, technically, best case scenario is every single unit is an SSR, but let's, let's be realistic. Realistic best case scenario is you get, like, eight SSRs, and, you know, you could walk away with eight pretty decent SSRs. I mean, this guy's still kind of decent for Battlefield. Um, this guy's pretty good for Battlefield and can be used in some red zone stages. Same with this guy. Uh, this unit's still maybe one of the best, like, he's either one or two, uh, best banner unit in the game. Uh, Jacko's pretty good. He can help you in some Super Battle Road stages. He does have a nice dodge chance. Um, down here we have the unfeatured pool, right? I mean, it goes all the way up to Dr. Mew and Jiro. Um, these two are really crazy. This guy's a pretty good support. Not crazy, but pretty good. This unit's great. I use them quite often. Um, this unit's okay. They help out Bardock. This unit's great if you have Kid Goku. Obviously, Golden Frieza is cracked. Um, Pan is pretty good. Chi Lai is amazing. She's just kind of limited to one team, uh, which isn't out yet on Global, but she can still be pretty good for Battlefield. Nappa's okay for Battlefield. You know, this Vegeta's okay. So, it's like, you know, there's quite a, like, some decent characters on here, and technically, you can get LRs in every single, um, like, you know, slot, technically, like, you know, that you're guaranteed to get three LRs, but you could walk away with more, so, like, this is definitely worth doing, you should definitely do this, like, why would you turn down the chance at three free LRs, you know, I'm pretty sure there's some in here that even I can use, I think, um, I'll have to check and see, so, I'm excited to get this, um, I, I enjoy doing this every year, so, hopefully you guys are excited as well, let me know what you guys think, I'm gonna get these guys grinded up, and we're gonna have showcases come out tomorrow, I still gotta do the Sin Shinrod event, um, just to remind you, we you do need 45 medals um, from this event to awaken them. Uh, I mean, we've been recording here for, um, you know, like 13 minutes. And, I mean, how many have we already gotten? Like 20? And I've done this run like three times or something. We'll, we'll check at the end of this, right? And we'll see. I mean, I don't know how many times I ran this. Three or four, and we're like halfway done. So, you know, these things aren't meant to be hard. It's just get in here, do it, and, uh, <laughs> and move on with your life, right? So, even if you never use this character, hopefully you at least get something really good from your 77-unit um, multi. I uh, wish you guys all the luck with that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip now. Well, I mean, do I need to skip? Well, let's see if we KO him on this turn. If we don't KO, KO him on this turn, then I will skip until we come back and um, we finish this run. And I can see how many medals we have just from this short amount of time recording the video. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's my thoughts on Bobbity. Hercule's not super great. I didn't really talk about him much in his video, but, you know, we're, we'll get showcases out. You guys can make your own decisions on that. All right, looks like we are going to finish him up right here with Vegeta. Vegeta should be able to take him out. He's pretty old now. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they decided to EZA this guy soon. There we go. All right, there's three more... Uh, three medals of some kind. I don't, I don't think those are awakening medals. I think those are, like, other medals for, like, just general medals, like... Uh, like, I, I don't know. I don't know good examples. Like, West Kai medals or something. Oh, it's training items. Alright, so yeah. We've done this just a few times in this video. We're already up to 29, and we only need 45, so. Uh, pretty easy. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.